Being blessed is everything. Napakahalaga na tayo ay blessed by God. Pero ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng blessed? Ang pamagat ng pag-aaral natin ngayon, the truly blessed. Psalm 1, 1-2 Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on His law day and night. Mahalaga rin na basahin natin ang psalm, ang pagiging blessed, through the lens of Jesus. Because Jesus is the image of the invisible God. In Jesus, all things hold together. So we read the scriptures through and by Jesus. Jesus, as it were, is the measure of all things. So we shall read the word wicked, or the words wicked, sinners, mockers, the law of the Lord, through Jesus, through the Jesus filter. At yung filter na yan is what we have devised to simplify our understanding of all scripture, that all teachings, all terminologies, all doctrines, all traditions, and all laws should be filtered through Jesus because Jesus is the image of the invisible God. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So basahin natin, sabi nga ng easy to read version, Great blessings belong to those who don't listen to evil advice. Sa NIV, walking in step with the wicked. At sa ERV, listening to evil advice. So what is evil advice? If we're going to read wickedness or evil advice through the lenses and the filter of Jesus, it is an advice that does not bring people to God or to heaven. It is an advice that does not bring people to rest and peace. An advice that does not bring heaven, the kingdom of God, into people's hearts. Bakit? Because the kingdom of God is in you, within you, sabi ni Jesus. Therefore, it is in the heart, it is in the mind. God should rule in the heart. God should rule in the mind, in feelings, in emotions, in thoughts. But instead, what do evil advisors do? Evil advisors or Pharisees, bring condemnation and judgment and judgmentalism and anger. Pharisees bring guilt, fear, which means hell in the mind, hell into people's hearts. So pagka sinabi natin na blessed is the one who does not listen to evil advice, blessed is the one who does not listen to advice that brings evil into the heart, that brings hell into the heart. At bakit ang sinabi natin ang nagbibigay ng hell sa mind at hell sa heart kung tutuusin by the definition of Jesus are the Pharisees and the teachings of the Pharisees because they give people burdens. They give people guilt. They give people judgment which is tantamount to putting hell in their hearts and in their minds. So Jesus as evil advisors, we shall be reading for our purposes today as the Pharisees. Sabi naman ni Jesus sa Matthew 23.15, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You travel over land and sea to win a single convert, and when you have succeeded, you make them twice as much a child of hell as you are. So, ang teaching daw ng Pharisees, pag na-convert nila ang tao sa kanilang pananaw, sa kanilang pagtuturo, sa kanilang doktrina, ginagawa nilang parang anak ng impyerno o mala impyerno ang buhay, ang isip, ang damdamin ng mga converts nila. So, evil ang advice nila kasi evil ang dinadala nito sa tao, dinadala sila sa hell in their hearts, hell in their minds, or whatever else hell means to many people. Matthew 23.4, they tie up heavy, cumbersome loads and put them on other people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. So why are we reading the Pharisees and the teachings of the Pharisees as the evil advice? Because according to Jesus, these Pharisees tie up heavy, cumbersome loads and put them on people's shoulders. Ginagawa nilang hell or hell-like ang buhay ng mga tao. At sabi pa ni Jesus tungkol sa mga Pharisees, Matthew 23:13, You shut the door of the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. 
you yourselves do not enter, nor will you let those enter who are trying to. Sabi ni Jesus, ang ginagawa doon ng mga Pharisees ay pinagsasarahan nila ng pinto ng langit ng mga tao kasi sila mismo ay hindi pumapasok sa langit at hindi nila pinapapasok ang sino mang sa kanila ay nakikinig at sumusunod. At kung sinabi natin that heaven is in the heart, heaven is in the mind, aside from the other definition of heaven that people have about heaven, pero yung sinasabi ni Jesus, the kingdom of God is in you, is within you, therefore heaven is in you, heaven is in your thought, in your heart, pero ang ginagawa ng mga Pharisees, hindi nila pinapapasok yung heaven sa puso ng mga tao, pinagbabawalan nila sila, pinagsasarahan, dahil sila man ay hindi pumapasok sa heaven at hindi nila pinapapasok ang heaven sa kanilang heart and mind. Therefore, ang advice nila, evil. Sila ang pwede nating basahin na sinasabi sa Psalm 1 na mockers, sinners. Because through religion, Pharisees throw people into kapahamakan, as we can see in our simplified illustration, that we are borrowing from another source. Credit to the owner. So great blessings belong to those who don't live like sinners or who don't join those who make fun of God. So as we are reading now, sino ang talagang sinners? Sino ang living like sinners? Sino ang mockers of God and of Jesus? Those who place themselves under the law. Those who place people under the law because the law condemns. Because the law makes you a sinner. Therefore, those who are placing people under the law, those who insist on keeping people under the law, are the mockers of God, are the mockers of the love of God through Jesus. They are the scoffers. They are those who should not walk after, those who should not sit with, according to Psalm 1. The law condemns, Romans 4.15, the law brings wrath. Romans 2.12, all who sin under the law will be judged by the law. And Romans 3.20, therefore no one will be declared righteous in God's sight by the works of the law. Rather, through the law we become conscious of sin. And remember, we are reading Psalm 1 through the lenses of Jesus and we are reading mockers, sinners, as the Pharisees that Jesus said were bringing people to hell, making life like hell. So to continue reading Psalm 1, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on His law day and night. Sabi ng easy to read version, instead they love the Lord's teachings and think about them day and night. So, ano yun? The law of the Lord given through Jesus, which is the law of love. So we read Psalm 1 as, Blessed are those whose delight is in the law of the Lord, the law of love expressed through Jesus. Matthew 22, 36 to 40, Teacher, they asked Jesus, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Diyan nakabatay, nakasalalay, nakasandal, nakatindig ang lahat ng law and the prophets sa law of love. John 13, 34, A new command I give you, sabi ni Jesus, Love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. Isa lang ang iniwan ni Jesus na law, na command, this is the law of love. The law and the command to love. Matthew 18, 21 to 22. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 70 times, seven times. So nagmamagaling itong si Pedro, sinasabi niya, pitong beses ko bang patatawarin ng taong nagkakamali sa akin, ng kapatid na nagkakasala sa akin? Pitong beses po ba? Sabi ni Jesus, no. Pito times pito. 
77 times. In other words, symbolic kasi ang pito of perfection, ibig sabihin, walang katapusang pagpapatawad. And yet, marami mga Christians daw, Christian teaching, Christian church, Christian organization, pero ang hilig magparusa, ayaw magpatawad. Samatalang, kung talagang Christian, sumusunod kay Christ, dapat sabi niya, you forgive 77 times. Walang katapusang pagpapatawad. E ang gusto ng iba, magparusa, magparusa. Samantalang sabi ni Jesus, magpatawad. Matthew 7, 12, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Ang linaw-linaw naman ang turo ni Jesus, Do not judge, but many, many so-called Jesus followers or Christians are in the business of judging, of punishing people they consider to be sinners. Hindi sila makakatulog, hindi sila mapapalagay kung merong parang sa tingin nila ay nagkakasala, especially measured against the law of Moses, na hindi paparusahan. Dapat magparusa sila. Samantalang si Jesus nga, hindi siya judge. Matthew 7.3 Why do you look at the speck of sodas in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? At sa pagpapatuloy pa niyan, sabi ni Jesus, Unahin mong tanggalin ng malaking troso sa iyong mata kaysa ang puwing ng iyong kapwa. Why are you in the business of correcting others, of rebuking others, of removing the speck in their own eyes when you and yourself have a log in your own eye? And 1 John 4, 8, Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. So ang hindi loving, hindi tunay na nakakakilala sa Ama according to Jesus. So, sino ang blessed? Na binabasa natin sa Psalm 1, yung hindi nakikinig sa sinners. Yung hindi nakikinig sa wicked advice. And as we have been reading now, sinner means people who are insisting on living under the law. Because the law makes them sinful, makes them sinners. People who insist on putting all others under the law. Therefore, making them sinners as well and making them get counted as sinners because under the law, everybody sins. So Psalm 1, 1 to 2, and uh, 3 now, that person, in the blessed person who does not listen to wicked advice, is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Because the living water is Jesus, the living water is in Jesusness, in being like Jesus. And the fruit of that tree, the fruit of the tree planted by living waters, planted by Jesus and Jesusness, the fruit is love. Hindi husay sa verse, hindi husay mang husga, the fruit is love. Sabi ni Pablo sa 1 Corinthians 13, 1 to 3, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but have not love, I gain nothing. So sinasabi ni Pablo, without love, Spiritual gifts, good works, faith, sacrifice are nothing and are for nothing. Bali, wala ang lahat pag walang pag-ibig. So kung ituturo mo sa tao, eh, judgment, judgmentalism, punishment, eh, di hindi yung loving. So bali, wala lahat ang yung acts of kabanalan, bali, wala lahat ang yung knowledge, ang yung preaching, ang yung sacrifice, ang yung mga charities, kasi, Walang love. First Corinthians 13, 6, Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. And what is evil? As we have been reading Psalm 1 through the lenses of Jesus and defining what is sin sinner by the standards of the law, then evil is stoning sinners to death. Stoning sinners punishing sinners by your own hands. John 8, 7, When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. 
And in this sense, evil is stoning sinners, throwing a stone at sinners because you think you deserve to judge and punish sinners. Romans 2.1 you therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else. For at whatever point you judge another, you are condemning yourself because you who pass judgment do the same things. Wala do excuse yung nagjudjudge ng kapwa. Kahit sa punto, bahagi na kanyang paghuhusga kasi sarili niya ang kanyang hinuhusgahan dahil siya man ay makasalanan. So kung gusto mong parusahan ng kasalanan, ang makasalanan, ikaw ang kailangan parusahan mo agad kasi makasalanan ka rin. Magkakaiba lang ang hugis, timing, shape, tono ng mga kasalanan, pero lahat yan kasalanan. So kung gusto mong parusahan ng may kasalanan, kailangan parusahan ka rin. So when you condemn others, you condemn yourself. Ecclesiastes 2, 14-15 Christ gave His own body to destroy the law of Moses with all its rules and commands. Gano'ng kahirap ito maintindihan? Na winasak ni Jesus ang batas ni Moses at ang mga alituntunin para palayain ang mga tao mula sa batas, mula sa parusa ng batas, at mula sa guilt for breaking that batas. John 8.36 So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Acts 13.39 through Him, everyone who believes is set free from every sin. A justification you were not able to obtain under the law of Moses. Malino na malinaw, pag tayo naniniwala kay Jesus, we are justified from every sin. We are set free from the law. All the law is destroyed. So we would not be haunted by that law. We would not be condemned by that law. At yan ang freedom na ibinigay ng Diyos, Ama, sa pamamagitan ni Jesus. Kaya napakahalaga ng love. Kasi love ang dahilan ng lahat ng yan. Love ang ipinalit na commandment sa lahat ng mga commandments ng law. 1 Corinthians 13.13 13, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. The greatest teaching, doctrine, practice is love. So pagbalik natin sa Psalm 1-2, in fact, sa verse 4 na tayo, Blessed na blessed daw yung mga hindi sumusunod sa mga sinners. Or as we have already defined through Jesus, sinners are those who insist on the law, insist on living under the law, and place everyone else under the law. But hindi daw blessed yung wicked. Sino yung wicked? Those that continue to judge others by the law, those that continue to place themselves under the law, and those that render themselves and everyone else sinful because they surrender to the law. Not so the wicked, they are not blessed. They are like shaft that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. At ang wicked na ito, as we have been reading, is placing oneself and others under the law. Because that breaks God's law of love, God's law of forgiveness, God's law of grace. And what wickedness can you do against people than placing them under the law? Because under the law, no one will survive. Everybody will be rendered sinful. Everybody will be punished. So what a great wickedness to insist on the law, to place people under the law, and to insist on keeping people under the law when God had already so very clearly expresses love, His forgiveness, His grace through Jesus. So when you insist on the law, when you insist on punishing people by the standards of the law, when you insist on making people look sinful and get measured as sinful because of the law, you are mocking God. You are mocking God's love expressed in Jesus because God sent His Son to set people free from the law to give the love of God to everybody who will believe and follow Jesus and who will follow in Jesusness. But when you refuse this and when you insist on the law, you obey the Pharisees, you teach like a Pharisee, and you place people under Phariseeism, that is wickedness. And the wicked, meaning those that insist on the law that condemns, 
Those that judge by the law, those that are judged by the law, they will not be blessed. So what do you do? Be truly blessed. Do not walk in step with the wicked who insist on the law. Do not stand in the way of sinners according to the law. Or sit in the company of those who mock God's love and grace through Jesus by insisting on legalism and the law. What do you do? How do you get blessed? Delight in the law of the Lord. And that law is the law and command of Jesus, love. How do you get blessed? Meditate on Jesus' law of love day and night. As you can see, mga kapatid, binasa natin ang Psalm 1 through the lenses of Jesus. And why did we do that? The question is, why not? Because Jesus is the image of the invisible God. In Him, all things hold together, which means all things should be defined through Jesus, by Jesus, and all things shall be filtered through the lenses of Jesus. So pagka sinasabi noon sa Psalm na wicked, ano ang wickedness kay Jesus? To stay under the law because you will be condemning yourself. To make people stay under the law because you will put them under condemnation. Wickedness is judging people by the law. The law that Jesus has destroyed so that we may be set free. Akala ng iba ang wickedness lang eh. To kill, to steal, to do this and that. Yes, wickedness yon. But what greater wickedness can there be than to keep people away from God's law, away from forgiveness, away from grace, and keep them imprisoned, chained to the law, and therefore keep them condemned, keep them inadequate, keep them in hell, and put hell into their hearts and minds. What sin, what mockery, what wickedness could be worse than that? So, to be blessed... Do not listen to mockers. Do not sit with mockers. Do not walk with mockers. And mockers are those that mock God's love, mock God's forgiveness, and mock God's grace by insisting on legalism, on Phariseeism, on placing people under guilt, under judgment. That is mockery of the grace of God, mockery of the death of Jesus, mockery of the resurrection of Jesus. So be blessed. Meditate on God's love because that is the law of God that He gave through Jesus. Meditate on His law day and night. Think of God's love. Accept it. Believe in it. Enjoy it without reservation or guilt because it is given by grace. And then give love to people. Give unconditional love. Unconditional acceptance, unconditional care, unconditional support because that is the command that Jesus gave. When you do that, you are truly blessed and you will be a true blessing to people around you, to people that can be reached by your voice, by your arms, by your love. Pagbulay-bulayan natin what it really means to be blessed, defined through Jesus to be blessed according to Psalm 1, but defined through the prism, through the filter of the love of God through Jesus. Diyan tayo maging masters, masters of love, masters in love, masters in loving, because that is the mission of Jesus. That is the true expression of God's goodness and kindness. God bless us all.
to you, mga pamangkin. Dito tayo mag-aral ng salita ng Diyos. Dito tayo mag-aral ng mga practical na bagay. Magdalanginan para sa isa't isa. Makinig ng mga mensahe. At dito tayo magsasama-sama spiritually. Sa ating official Ed Lapis YouTube channel na ang address ay Sabi ni Kuya Ed. Remember, dito tayo ha? Sabi ni Kuya Ed ang ating official YouTube channel. Do not forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell for notification. Like, comment, and share our official YouTube channel. Visit Ed Lopi's website for daily devotion, audio podcast, latest video message, send your prayer request, subscribe to mailing list and more. Visit edlopis.com.ph